Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about my favorite manga that I read in 2017. Basically my favorite books of this year will be coming soon as well as my favorite poetry of this year and this year I just could not combine my poetry and my manga into my favorite books of the year because it was just too much. So today I'm going to be talking about my top five series manga that I read this year. Super excited. I know I look awful. I don't feel like getting ready. My tripod almost broke. Funny because I just finished editing a video where I was just as bitter as this one. Okay, let's get into it. First up here at number five, I have Fuku Fuku by Kainomi Kanada. And apologies in advance if I say all these authors' names wrong, because I think it's very likely that's, go that, that's going to happen. But Fuku Fuku is a little two-book manga series that is about a kitten and this elderly woman um, takes care of the kitten. And it's just the cutest thing ever. I love everything about it. <laughs> like it's the cutest thing ever and it's adorable, perfect for cat lovers. I just, I can't. So cute. Coming in at number four, I have Monster by Naoki Urasawa and this, oh my god, these are the collection bind-ups but I just read volume one this year and basically I was just not knowing much to go going into it, just that it's kind of creepy and that. But if you do want to know a synopsis, um, this is about a surgeon, a very popular and famous surgeon, and he chooses in the spur of a moment to save one life over another and he gets in a lot of shit for what he does and he, it just, it talks a lot about life and death and it talks a lot about you know whose life is worth saving because if there's two people that need an operation and he has to choose which one to go to that's kind of what this book is about so basically it's really interesting really good kind of creepy i have volume two and i'm excited to read it soon but yes this was just not what i expected at all i didn't really expect much but it was just really really interesting and yes, I'm very excited to continue with this series. At number three, I have Dead Man Wonderland. And this is by Jenny Sai Katoka and Kazumi Kanando. I tried. So I'm just holding up volumes 11, 12, and 13. There is only 13 volumes in this series, which is pretty good for manga. But this series follows a boy named Rin who gets sent to the Dead Man Wonderland prison after his whole classroom his whole class is assassinated and he's the only one still standing and he witnesses all his friends get killed so he immediately gets transferred to this prison that's kind of like an amusement park prison it's very strange and people go there to watch the prisoners compete uh in life to death situations and we follow our main character as he's just getting into this prison and learning the rules and the people he meets in there and that's what the story's about so i just really adore this i love the characters like i mean <laughs> ganta gets kind of annoying throughout the series a little bit but um other than that he's just just read the series so interesting just mm, mm, yes in at number two we have another cat manga and that is Cheese Sweet Home volume one and two. So this is by Kanomi Kanada again. She's the same one who wrote Fuku Fuku but this there's so many more volumes and oh my god I've read these two this year and they are such a delight like I am smiling the whole time while I'm reading this like it's more adorable than Fuku Fuku even though Fuku Fuku is really adorable but this is just so cute. Again, about a cat living in a home. Shenanigans. It's the cutest thing. Makes me so happy. Such a delight. Love the art. Mm, yes. And coming in at my number one spot. Drum roll, please. Doubt. Doubt. Gotta love doubt. This is by Yoshika Tanoga. This series oh my god this is why it's number my number one it's a horror manga it is so good so creepy so many twists so much going on so much gore um so if you can't look at or read about murder then don't pick these up but these are just 
Oh my God, I'll just read you the, th the flap really quickly. Just bear with me because it, they describe it better than me. Um, Rapido, a mobile phone game has taken Japan by storm. In it, players are rabbits who must uncover the wolf in rabbit's clothing before falling prey to its wiles, as well as its teeth. When a group of players decides to meet offline, the last thing they expect is to lose consciousness and wake up trapped in an abandoned building mysterious bar with mysterious barcodes tattooed on their bodies and a corpse strung up in front of them. To stay alive, they have but one option, to snip out the lion wolf in their midst. Will these vir virtual acquaintances be able to pull it together in the real world and avoid ending up as the wolf's dinner? So it's literally about this game that comes to life and it just reminded me that, of, of this episode of Criminal Minds and it was just so good. I adored these so much. I gave this one five stars and I gave this one 4.5. So if you're into manga, pick these up. They're so good. 10 out of 10. Were my favorite manga of the year of 2017? Let me know what yours were in the comments down below. If you don't read manga or if you read manga or whatever, I will link my recommendations videos that I've done. I think I've done one for my manga recommendation, so I'll link that down below in case you're new to manga, but obviously I would suggest any of these. All fabulous, all fantastic. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye! The